Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have a new and exciting tutorial for you. In this video I will show you how to easily and effortlessly retrofit a display to the system controller of the Bosch smart system. The most convenient solution for this would naturally be to simply connect an Intuvia 100 display to the Bosch system via Bluetooth. How to do this you will learn here in our short tutorial on retrofitting the Intuvia 100. But today we want to look at how to mount a Kiox 300. Kiox 500 or the Bosch smartphone grip on the system controller as they all use the same holder. So we are essentially looking at how to mount the holder. What you then place on it is entirely up to you. To mount the holder with the corresponding display mount on your bike, there are two possible ways to do this for the system controller. Let's first take a look at how you can establish a connection using two cables, which is essentially the classic way. Basically, a cable is carefully laid from the motor to the display holder, and then a shorter cable is connected from the display holder to the system controller. In order to do this, you first need to remove the system controller. Unscrew this small torx screw to take it out of the top tube, and then you can simply disconnect the display cable. Here is the first difficulty. You now need to route this cable to the front towards the handlebar. We can route it through pre-made holes in the headset and lead this cable, which is already connected to the motor, to the front to the handlebar. Next, we will take a shorter display cable. It is best to measure roughly beforehand which length you need, perhaps 20 centimeters or 25 centimeters. Feel free to see what works for you. It is always better for it to be a bit longer than too short. You then route this cable backwards, so to speak, into the stem or the headset, depending on how it is set up on your bike, and guide this short cable to the free socket here on the system controller. Now you can already connect the system controller and this short cable. Once you have plugged in the cable, you can easily reintegrate the system controller into the top tube. Do not forget the seal to ensure everything is neat and tidy. Now we can go ahead and carefully mount the display holder. In our particular case, we have already connected it with the appropriate display mount. It is basically screwed securely into the holder right here. Pay attention to the cable exit point from the display mount when making your purchase. There are two types of display mounts, one facing forward in the direction of travel and one facing backward. This depends on where the cables will ultimately be plugged in. In our scenario, we'll choose the cable exit at the rear, as this is probably the case with most setups, because the cables are intended to exit to the rear from the display's perspective. And in the next step, we can already easily insert the two cables into the display holder. It might be necessary to adjust the display mount slightly using the small adjustment screw so that you can access it easily. It doesn't matter at all which cable goes in on the left or right side. You can adjust that as you like. Then simply tighten the display holder again and position the display mount however you prefer. If you're satisfied with the way it looks, you can now easily attach the display or the smartphone grip. As I mentioned before, it works for the smartphone grip, it works for the Kiox 500 and also for the Kiox 300. You're flexible with that, can swap anytime, just click in and carry on riding. You still have the option to screw in a display lock if necessary. It is located on the back of the display mount. If you need more details on how to do that, you can take a look at our Kiox 300 retrofit tutorial video. There you will find all the details on how to assemble the display holder and how to use the display lock. And that's actually all there is to retrofitting the display. The Promise second variant has essentially been added new as of model year 2024. There's a new display cable from Bosch available called the Y display cable. This allows you to route it even cleaner now because you no longer need two cables. Instead, you only have one cable, which you plug in down here at the motor, then route it through the frame here, and you can then connect the shorter end to the system controller, and the longer end comes out here at the front again to the display holder. This might differ slightly, depending on how it's installed on your bike. And so, you'll only have one cable left, which goes into the display mount and to the system controller here. Everything just looks a bit cleaner this way. My recommendation, however, if you already have a system controller, you already have a connection to the motor. So you basically just need to bridge that and can retrofit everything relatively easily. It's simply a matter of personal preference. All the parts you need for this, such as the Y cable, can of course be found in our online shop. If you still have questions about how to retrofit this or whether it's even possible for your bike, then please feel free to write to us in the comments and we will try to help you. We would be delighted if you subscribe to our channel. This way you won't miss any more tutorials. Other than that, I wish you lots of fun retrofitting the displays yourselves and we'll see you back here soon.